Do you guys like rattlesnakes just as much as I do? Well, stay tuned to this video because we're gonna be doing a care guide for the pygmy rattlesnake. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics, and on this channel we like to make videos about reptiles and amphibians, and how to take care of them just like in one of these videos today. So today we have a care guide for a very fascinating species called the pygmy rattlesnake. So let's dive into our care guide. The first step in taking care of a pygmy rattlesnake is finding a suitable enclosure. Since they're the world's smallest rattlesnake species, a 20 gallon terrarium is perfectly fine for an adult pygmy. But if you're planning on breeding them, I would definitely move them up to maybe a 40 gallon, maybe something even larger than that, because more space never hurts. So with these being venomous snakes, I would definitely take precaution in what type of enclosure that you choose for them, because there are a lot of good ones out there on the market, with the top of the line being vision enclosures. These are plastic molded enclosures that have sliding front glasses that are pretty lockable and pretty secure for most of your venomous snakes, and they come in a variety sizes. They also have some PVC alternatives if you want to go that route, like the venom proof cages for one, and a couple other ones that you just have to kind of go out there and find. But you can also build your own enclosures that you feel comfortable keeping these reptiles in because number one thing is safety. So for the setup, here's what you're going to need. So the first thing you're going to need is substrate. And for that, you're going to need something natural. A lot of people like to use aspen or you want to use cypress mulch. Personally, I'm more of a fan of cypress mulch, has a lot more humidity in it, and it holds it a whole lot better, and the aspen is too mold and things that it gets real wet, so it's kind of hard to kind of keep humidity in there, but it's good for certain species. I would definitely avoid using pine or cedar because that can also be toxic to snakes, so always be on the lookout for that as well. So moving on to hiding spots. So if you're new to the reptile hobby, snakes and other reptiles tend to like to hide in little cramped areas in darkness so that way they can feel comfortable and nice and snug and warm or cool depending on what they're trying to do with the thermal regulating. So for the pig and rattlesnake I would recommend at least have two and one would be on the hotter side and one on the cooler side so give them a place to choose that they want to reside in. So since we're talking about temperature gradients and thermal regulating you need to create a temperature gradient inside of the enclosure. The warm side should be around 85 to 90 degrees and the cooler side could be around 75 to 80 degrees. And this can be achieved by using an undertake heat mat or a heat lamp. So since we're talking about lighting, the pygmy rattlesnake doesn't necessarily need UVB, but I would still highly recommend to use a basking lamp. And this can help to simulate day and night cycles which helps with the circadian rhythm. And last but not least, you need to always include a water bowl. Something possibly big enough that a snake can always get in and roll around in if it needs to get his body wet and drink out of. And you need to make sure you keep this fresh throughout the week. Now that we got the enclosure set up, let's talk about feeding and diet. Pygmy rattlesnakes primarily eat small rodents and sometimes lizards. And here are some key points to remember. Number one, prey size. You need to make sure to always give your snakes appropriately sized prey items. For adult pygmy rattlesnakes, adult mice or rat pinkies would definitely be suitable for them, but you need to always make sure that your prey item is no bigger than the largest part of the snake's body, and that's a good rule of thumb to go with with a lot of snakes. Number two, feeding frequency. Adult pygmy rattlesnakes need to be fed every seven to 10 days, but if you have a juvenile or baby, this may need to be a little bit more frequent, maybe about twice a week. So the third one is a pretty big one, and this is the feeding method. So I would highly recommend to get you some two or three foot long tongs that you can use. And I have some forcep type ones that are really good to use. I would also have a couple different ones, so different things, you know, if you don't like that one, there's different tools and stuff like that makes feeding a whole lot easier. So number four is hydration. So always make sure that your animals are good and hydrated. So I would highly recommend to mist the enclosure down occasionally because they like to drink the water off the sides and things off and stuff like that, not necessarily out of a water bowl. So this is a great way to make sure they stay hydrated and their skin and everything like that as well. So last but not least, I wanna go over a little bit of health and safety in maintaining the pygmy rattlesnake. Since the pygmy rattlesnake is a venomous snake, it's crucial to make sure to keep handling down to a minimum. If you need to handle the pig and rattlesnake, make sure you use your snake tools and things that you can stay safe to transport them to one container to another, to do whatever you have to do for cleaning and daily maintenance and that kind of stuff. 
because that is your number one concern. And the second thing in this section of the video I want to talk about is safety precautions. You should always prioritize your safety and the safety of others around you and make sure to keep your enclosures locked and escape proof. And you need to ensure that you have the appropriate knowledge and tools so that way you can handle your snake appropriately and safely. So this wraps up our care guide for the pigment rattlesnake. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you tell me down in the comments how you liked it. And if you want to pick up anything mentioned in today's video, make sure you check out those links down in the description because we have the Amazon links for everything mentioned in the video. So make sure you guys check that out. I'll be super thankful. Check in the next episode.